keep up and go as I can't rush TV. It's all a lot tied to try and go hit it. Fly everybody want a straight answer with media. Keep us blind. A good heart is not hard to find. Why the people try to define infrastructure? Right on that time. Infrastructure right on that time. I could, I could. It's all to we're talking about you're about to protect the sons and daughters from political and slaughter. Someone put me out cause I'm on fire. I can't give a f about what they say. They've been searching for that thing to get them higher. You can't catch my you can't catch my way. Never play by the rules, got some pay on my dues They gon' try to intrude, poison the multitude They be quick to accuse, when you got different views Just know you gon' pay the price, press up the item you choose Many times in the culture, hit you with them can't ultra I knew you was a vulture, holy ghost get the ushers No, 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 I can't trust you, shock you, deny you fluster Crashing down, I was cluttered, doing this so subtle Fumbling out through the rubble, remember this and jump at the top I was gonna get something, the middle gotta stay hunting Why the rush up for nothing, why the rush up for nothing Why the rush up for nothing, why the rush up for nothing Agitated illusion, only built for confusion the, the institution, my the execution, think I know the solution. Maybe not should I do it. Just put it in the music. Just put it in the music. Someone put me out cause I'm on fire. I can't give a f about what they say. They've been searching for that thing to get them higher. You can't catch my you can't catch my way. You'll burn out if you took it. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a classic in store between the Minnesota Vikings and the San Francisco 49ers. Harrison Butler is set to kick off. For a chance to come back to this very stadium in two weeks' time, we are off and running in the NFC Championship. Fielded in the end zone. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. for Raheem Mostert. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down at the 23 at second and 12. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. First down. 
first and 10 at the 36-yard line. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Flush to his right, and that'll be incomplete. Garoppolo. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And on the slant, able to find Ayuk. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Brandon Ayuk, 36 yards. And the Niners have taken the early lead. So they take the opening kickoff and drive it all the way down the field. And that's the last thing you want defensively. On the road, in the playoffs, and now you're down a touchdown right away. Looking up into the lights, and he muffs it. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. First and 10, it's Jackson. Flushed out right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. He's got a man complete. 39 yards there, a big one. And in the run-up to this championship game, so much was made about how would this offense hold up on the road in a hostile environment. Well, that's not the definitive answer, but what a great first answer from them. That big play right there. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackle for a two-yard loss in the backfield. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Second and 12, operating from the 39. From the gun, Jackson. And this one complete to Smith. And he gets it down to the 32. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Jackson from the shotgun. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to fire one. Corner of the end zone. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. What a start defensively. Uh, you, your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. And not a whole lot to speak of there, as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. On second down, Moster. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. When coaches stress their defense being physical, they don't just mean the big guys. How about the guys on the outside, the cornerbacks? It's not just their job to patrol the airspace. They can get involved in the run game as well. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. By the Vikings. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run on first down. 
It's Williams. And they'll get him down right around the 16. In on the stop, it was Tavarius Moore. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They give it to Williams, running right. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this thing up. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Harrison Butker is set to kick off. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Niners take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Hey, John, John. Garoppolo to try again on second down. They try it for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Obi Belafonwu. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. After the interception, here's Jackson. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Touchdown. Damian Williams with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Vikings have taken the lead. And a pair of rushing touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're winning the leverage game. How many times have we talked about? Low man wins, right? Move the defensive front aside, create those gaps and holes. He's found his way through them for two touchdowns. And after both of those touchdowns, he went right up to that O-line and hit each of them on the helmet. That's he a, recognized. That's a smart man. You know what else he should do? If this continues, take them all to dinner. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They'll need to come from behind if they want to play in two weeks as they trail early in this NFC Championship game. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it second down and 12. Second and 12, Garoppolo. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Obi Belafonwu. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. At the 46-yard line. Let's go. You tighten up. Let's go. You tighten up. 
Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Escaping the pressure right. Looking downfield for Jones. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Complete. Smith has it. 20. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. At the 9-yard line. And as you saw right there, this is a guy with pretty good speed for a tight end. Nice job there, catching the short throw and turning it upfield. He could also be a... And he'll get into the end zone. Damian Touchdown, Williams. Minnesota. Touchdown, Damian Williams. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now stands at 13. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They've got to be a little shell-shocked. Down double digits at home in the playoffs. Still in the first half. They've got to turn things around quickly. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. At the 31 yard line. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. Here we go on fourth down with Garoppolo. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. Boy, a real head-scratcher there. And the Vikings, they have the football now in excellent field position. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. And it's complete. It's Damian Williams. Jackson. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Out of bounds. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Now we're first and 10 at the 11. First down, Viking. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he will score. Damian Touchdown, Williams. Vikings. Minnesota. Damian Williams on his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. Vikings. Extra point splits the uprights. And that pushes the lead up to an even 20. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own. The 49er game. offense set to get this drive underway. They begin with a quick throw out left. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. 
a gain of a yard. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at it. Looking for Ayuk, and he's got it. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. But it leads to fourth down. And a reminder, folks, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report coming up shortly. The coach with us, as always, as he will start to look ahead to Super Bowl 53. Alabama wide open down the middle. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle, 65 yards. And the 49ers make some inroads here on that deficit. His kick. A gutsy call. Fourth and short. They go for it. Look at the result. Yeah, not only did they go for it, they threw for it. Because to me, it was stacked up for a run situation. Strength on strength. And they decided to put the ball in the air. And what a result. Big time play. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. First and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Brings up second and five at the 30-yard line. They go play action with Jackson. Flush to his right. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. That one good for 26 and a first down. A Hall of Fame coach once said, there are no medals for trying. And that wasn't a trying effort, was it? That was a winning effort. How about that great catch? Excellent. They know, hey, you lose this game, you get a ding or two. You got seven months to heal. They're going to go all out. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and ten. Now Jackson on second down. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 23 yards to pick up there. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. The Vikings gonna signal for their first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. On second and seven, Jackson flushed out right. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. Pass complete to Adam, Thielen. Adam Thielen. As the first half Touchdown. is winding down. And the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. 
I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 32-yard line. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. The Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. Taken in the end zone. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. On the ground, this is Williams. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. He's tackled. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On third down, Jackson. He's got Smith here. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. And this is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Over on down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, dude. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54. On first and 10, it's Mostert. A gain of three, second down. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. Balled it to 26, second and seven. Now Garoppolo. Eluding the pressure right. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. That's good. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he's trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. First and goal at the five-yard line. Here's Mostert. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers get a score closer. 
That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Javon Kinlaw, the big D tackle there to bring him down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. The tackle by Eric Armstead. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Third down. Third down, here's Williams. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Alexander. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. Colquitt on to kick as he sends it away. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. And the Niners will go on offense. First and 10. 26-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They come in off a touchdown drive the last time they had the ball that cut down that lead. Now the defense has done their part, got them the football back. Momentum started to shift a little bit when they scored the touchdown. It increased when the defense got them the ball back. Momentum definitely in their favor. Now they got to keep things cranking, keep it on high so you can keep cutting into that lead. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit and pick up yardage, but in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Watch the run, watch the run, watch the run. Back to the air on second, it's Garoppolo. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First and 10. On the handoff, this is Moster. Number 35. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. One quarter remains until the NFC crowns its champion. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 45 on second down, Garoppolo. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On the gun, it's Garoppolo. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Shaq Lawson in to drop him behind the line for a loss of a yard. 38-yard line, second and 11. Garoppolo. That's complete. It's Kyle Juszczyk. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 22-yard line. 15 yards on the play. First down. Garoppolo now. First down throw. Gets this one to Juszczyk. And across the chalk. Into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. 22-yard touchdown grab. 
And the 49ers are back within a score. And he wasn't blocking or running it there. They tossed it to him. And you remember the good old days when the 49ers were riding roughshod in the league? They used their fullback and pass plays all the time. Roger Craig, Tom Rathman, those guys were terrific at running these types of plays. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they are in position now with the lead in the fourth quarter of the NFC Championship game to become the first team ever to play a Super Bowl in their home stadium. And remember, this is a team that hadn't even been to the playoffs in more than a decade. So the turnaround will be complete if they can finish things off. And what a story it would be. Now it's second and nine. From the gun, Jackson. He completes it to Julio Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. He'll find Jones again, complete. Seven yards, the pick up there. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> and the Vikings first down. movement up front and I think this is going to be on Minnesota the crowd's not doing that old line any favors home field advantage is really kicking in making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count the false start backs him up five first and 15 again it's Williams and he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory the ball carrier Kwan Williams the one that got him down now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Here's second and ten. quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset they've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line on second down here's Jackson that one into the hands of Thielen complete Jackson's that catch good for five. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Escaping the pressure right. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. And incomplete. It's Fourth down. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now Jackson. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. The Niners take over first and 10. 
at their own The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. They have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54 They hand it off to Mostert. And some room to work. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. 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 I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And this one will not be handled. It's into the end zone for a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you get a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. They'll look to throw. He completes it to Jones. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 11 yards there, first down. Working the sideline there, good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to like the play call because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Caught by Jones. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. First down, Vikings. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. He's back to throw. Complete to Jones. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the Niners' 35-yard line. And just a yard to go here on second down. The busy night continues for Williams. And look at this for the second straight play. The 49er defense drops him for a loss. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. If they get nothing else here on third down, it'd be a 53-yard attempt from this spot. They run it again with Williams. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. The Vikings first down. And they will take a knee here. And they will get the timeout. So three seconds remaining. And they can trot out the field goal unit and try to send this one to overtime. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. With three seconds to go, if it's good, we're off to overtime. 
And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And this game is tied. Overtime in a playoff game. Awesome setup. Remember, the rules are the same as they would be in the regular season. That's exactly right, Brandon. Remember, the receiving team, if they score a touchdown, game is over. But if they kick a field goal or don't score, the other team gets a chance to get the football. They get a possession. If they go down and score, they win the football game at that point. If both teams kick field goals, we keep playing. If a defense scores, let's say the receiving team gets the ball, doesn't score, or they throw a pick six or fumble, gets picked up, the defense scores, game over. But here's the best part. In a regular season, only one period is played. We could call it a tie. Here, we're going to play until we have a winner. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. And now the Vikings are going to stop it here on defense with a timeout. So as they head to the sidelines, we'll head to this break on EA Sports. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now a give to Mostert running right. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Eric Hendricks in on the tackle. Well, partner, recent conference championship games that have been needed to decide who goes to the Super Bowl, what do you got? Well, if you go back to 2015, how about Green Bay at Seattle? And it looks like Green Bay's got this thing. Russell Wilson to Jermaine Curse. That gets it done. And then go back to 2010. We think Brett Favre. With the Vikings, has the destiny. But they're at New Orleans. It's the Saints. <laughs> and they get it done. And in overtime, go on to the Super Bowl. And they won that one. They beat the Colts, correct? Yep. A couple of the more memorable ones for sure. And a heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. 13, 13. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. A gain of only a yard. It's fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Obi Belafonte. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Intercepted. Yes, folks, that is his third interception, and I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around a defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Quick strikeout wide by Jackson, and he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. They get 14 there, first down Vikings. Back-to-back -back good plays, have them on the move on first down. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. 
You know, Charles, just thinking about it, plenty of recent conference championship games have needed OT to decide who goes to the Super Bowl. And we can go back a little ways, can't we? Go back 2012. Giants in San Francisco. That was an overtime game. The Giants end up going on to the Super Bowl. How about the one where the Giants went to Green Bay, Lambeau, and beat the magic of that stadium <laughs> in that freezing, bitterly cold game and got it done there? Yeah, it was 2008. It was absolutely freezing, and they went on to beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl that year. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Partner, this is a pretty good drive they're putting together, and I know if I'm on the other sideline, that offense, it's kind of helpless, isn't it? Because they may not touch the football at all, because they go down and score a touchdown. This thing's over. Absolutely. That would write an ending to this script. We'll see what happens. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 34. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. They've had some success here in overtime on this opening drive running the football right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well you just spoke about. I think there's more water there and available to them. Now we've got movement up front. And I think this is going to be on Minnesota. And that'll be accepted, of course. And that moves him back five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Following the penalty, it's Williams. That's what they needed. It's an eight-yard gain. And now third and four suddenly doesn't look so bad. Eight yards on the decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. On third down, Williams. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Now remember, this one is not over, but with the time running short here in this overtime, that could very well be the game winner. Yeah, remember now, the other team does get a possession, but when the clock runs out, that's it. So that was a well-calculated drive to use up the majority of the clock and leave your opponent with little to no time left. And the Vikings are going to the Super Bowl as we sign off here and say goodnight, everybody. And that'll close the books on the conference championship for Charles Davis, myself, Brandon Gordon, and our entire crew. We'll talk to you in two weeks from the Super Bowl. We did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to tighten the plan. Yeah, I got it right in the end. Now we on top.
top top once again i don't want it if it ain't love if it ain't get it away from me who you gonna jack if it ain't us labb to the bakery some mad that i came up i know my granny gonna pray for me it was just us in the vacancy we had to get it from a to b wheels never felt like this two seats in the hills how feel righteous blue sheets for the mills but the deal priceless new keys can't care what's built private i might just double it up did it mm. never enough i'm with it uh. Five, two, three on the business, whole team got wins in the world suspended. I told them what I told them. We did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the team. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah. Hey, I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on top. Got a spot and it's slot to the click all in. I got ops. If you drop, I just hit my dance. I was pop. They just watched. Had to take my wins. They wouldn't let me in. I've been on 10, 10 cents. Who really holding it down? I've been holding it down and I go it again and again. Who was the dummy that died? I'm the coldest of but he falling again and again. I'm in the what? I'm in the day. I'm doing 30 on 30 and up. You in the what? You in the way. Either you rolling or rolling the dust. You what is the what? Keep it running. We did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top yeah. once again. Yeah. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on top, top once again. We did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on 10, 10, 10.
Dead boy on the beat, so you gotta yeah. go berserk. Okay. Mm. Sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, huh, sometimes you need a foe. Want to keep your eyes open, keep you on your toes. You know the ones that want to keep you where you've been before. But I can't go. No, I can't go. No, I can't go. And whoa, huh, sometimes I need a check. Not the sneakers, but the ones that make you watch your step. You know, I sat down with my accountant, he said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. Okay. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. Okay. okay. Look, sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know your worth. Sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of bait. You can't negotiate with Drake. You gon' have to pay for wait. Jugging on the main stage, the main frame. Loosen up your face, baby. Protect my energy before engagement. Grew up having nothing, you're labeled impatient. But once the boss made it, you're labeled amazing. Meticulous with words, cause you're forcing nature. Boss. I don't wanna seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Fo focusing on me, way from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle pockets, LRDs. Distinctive destinations, all I wanna see. Ocean from residence is three different ones a week. Cause I deserve that, it's time to learn that Mess around and put that thing up where your permit Six figures every year, yeah, I earn that At the front of this line is where my turn at Sometimes you need a friend Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in And then, sometimes you need a bow Oh Men gon' lie, women gon' lie, you're looking for the truth and the numbers don't hide. Looking for the root of all evil, then you need to go open up the briefcase, see what you ask. Everybody claim to be greatest of all times when they never spend a day in the rain in the front line. No lie, no lie. Stop playing on my phone line. Pull up in the space group with the roof, I'm should know. Wonder why they follow suit. I've been groomed from the womb, came out of my mama with some running in the shoes. That's the dinner speed and bullet. No, 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 it's cool, it's cool. Don't play with it, baby. Say yourself, okay. what you gon' do?
You get down with me, down with me, down with me. Pull you down with me, down with me, down with me. Won't you get down with me, down with me, down with me. Won't you down with me, down with me. Hold on. I got a crowd wrapping around the whole town for me. Hey, mama, crowd got a thou in the balcony. Nah, 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 I don't hear no clown talking foul on me. Won't shoot me down, shoot me down, send the cavalry. It's been a while, out since I had time for me. Won't you get down? Like my style, don't y'all? Nice like this, I wish I was with y'all. On my turf, roll out the Henry Rux. She like when I hit the bus seeker. Friend hopping, this is a four seater. Made a yank straight out the wood, I'm Dirk Jeter. Major Liga, no fatigue. We don't get no handout, we don't get no macarinas. Never gonna throw your back out, trying to work your need. I need a break. Won't you get down with me, down with me, down with me? Pull you down with me, down with me, down with me. Won't you get down with me, down with me, down with me? Won't you down with me, down with me? Hold on. Won't you get down with me, down with me?
flag on the play. Yeah, yeah. That's a flag on the play. Yeah, yeah. Flag on the play. Hold up. That's a flag on the play. Let's go. Touch down. I just scored a whole bucket. bucket. I just dropped a bag, bag. on the tag. Every day. Don't tell me to relax, I can't, I'm gonna say Got a new press, those in the J's in a way Got a new bridge, watch where they don't take time Might pull up on a hop if it's up too hot And he wanna play ball, hit a three-point shot Boy, this my court, got a block on lock I done made it by the million and I'm only 19 uh, I see water dripping on a white tee And shorty got a man, but she saying wife me I got chats coming in like a pair of Nike If I like it, then you know I'm finna get it Just do it Get the bag and then I flip it, watch me do it Just do it All them all, my wrist going stupid Just do it
responsible with all your money or not. Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And now we spin the block around, just like the hell on the clock. Are you irresponsible with all your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And now we spin the block around, just like the hell on the clock. Come like a bat of the hell, I dare you to cross like a reverend. And my energy paralyzed, I'm like a finger 11. Take a second, I'm finna send it like a pair and a mess. You're the best. If it ain't me, then you need you a confession, you a mess. Uh huh, you ain't scary to me. I heard you was a leader, but that ain't a parent to me. Put dust on you, my cheetah, run up and I'm there in the scene. And I feel just like Vegeta Prince, and I'm an heir to the seat. I mean, for real. Touch the driver's saw so I don't even grab the wheel. That's a lot my chest, but it don't mean the man is stealing me. And I'm walking with some money, man. I mean a couple mil. <clears throat> Ew, think you need a meal. You ain't even eating while I'm feasting in the field. That's why I'm always cheesing, cause I feel like Uncle Phil. And always lose things the first, but they ain't half the man as well. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And now we spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And now we spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. You like the hands on the clock, I go back to bat when I'm doing numbers. All the mad that I'm driving the bus, so they threw me under. Heard they mad, they don't wanna bust, so they boo each other.